Imagine you've been destinated for a competition exactly at the moment you were born. You had no choice, no idea what is going to happen, and there was no way back from that competition. What would you do? Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I started and decided to start a new series on my YouTube channel talking about books, and it's called Bookish Weeks because uh, as you might know, I am really a, a book lover. I'm not a bookworm because um, I don't read constantly, but uh, like every day, I'm not a fast reader or anything else, but I just love it. And I think that sharing this love with you guys is going to be so much fun. And maybe we find some, uh, you know, things in common. It can be like a book club. Okay, so before we start uh, a book, of this video that is actually my favorite book and I read it last summer was uh, The Night Circus by Erin Morgaster. Morgaster, let me. It's uh, the book The Night Circus by Eric Morgenstern. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this book is actually my favorite and I loved it and I uh, think that it's really great to show it and uh, suggest it to people who have, haven't read it yet. So uh, let's go to the video and talk about it. Maybe a little bit of uh, spice about everything. And I just want to talk about the whole story and whole book. So if you have any opinion about this book or this video, totally. And if you like to just recommend any other books that you feel it's really appropriate for this season, just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's go. Interesting, huh? This is how you're meant to be falling for this book, which I actually did. And I think this summary that the author gave us was the whole thing that you needed to uh, know about the book and it well described and if you uh, are not a fantasy lover or anyway you're not a fan of fantasy or haven't ever read that you might be curious about like what why what is going to be happening what is this book about everything is so mysterious and uh Personally, it made me so curious about the story and I wanted to know what is going to happen. Are these characters really in such a danger? Or is it just a story? It's just... what is it? If it didn't get the summary, let me explain. Imagine you're living in your house, just uh, having a uh, coffee, going outside, maybe you go to work, back home. You're in your apartment and living for yourself. There is nothing... Uh, Nothing strange. You sleep at night and the next day that you wake up, there is a circus exactly close and next to your apartment. And it just appeared. You haven't seen anybody to be working there. There was no voice of uh, workers and nothing. It just appeared from nowhere. Okay, it's time to know about the story. With a little bit of spoilers, but I won't cross the lines. Promise. Okay, from here till the point that I tell you, there are a little bit of spoilers. It doesn't spoil the story. I try my best not to talk too much. I just want to show you who are they. And uh, actually, these characters were named and called in the summary of the book. So it's actually not spoilers. But if you don't want to know anything about the story, maybe you should skip this part and go to the next part of my video, uh, talking about the opinions and comments about this book. There are four main characters in this book, uh, which two of them are first main characters, first, uh, better say, lead characters, and two of them are closely related to these guys. And also there are lots of side characters, which I think they were more than expected for a novel. First one is Hector. He's a magician, he's a showman, he's a performer, and everyone loves him for his uh, shows like magic shows, but no one knows that this guy is actually doing real magic 
It's not like what uh, Shin Lee does, like magic tricks. It's real magic, like really transforming a paper towel to a bird. Really doing that. Anyway, he is so proud of himself and loves performing, so uh, he never shows up about being a real magician and he just covers himself as a showman, likes to show how he does. And number two is Alexander. He is old friend to Hector and they had so many uh, games and maybe competitions together and he's also another real magician. But um, exactly opposite of Hector, he never shows up as a magician and he never uh, showed how much he can uh, do and we don't know about his abilities. But anyway, we know that he's another magician and about the ages, he might be elderly people but they don't like, but they don't look like elderly people. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, a little complicated. Okay, these two guys were those uh, second stage of main characters. Now we go up to the first stage of main characters. The third one is Celia. Celia is actually Hector's daughter, and uh, she inherited every magic powers from Hector and Hector himself taught her how to do these magics like how to transform things to another thing or maybe just uh, transport between two uh, places and every single thing that he knew he taught them to uh, Celia and now Celia is actually the main character and one of the fighters at this competition and the other side there is Marco which was an orphan guy just being adopted by Alexander and uh, he taught him how to become a magician but it's a little different from Hector's way he taught his daughter how to do stuff but Alexander Alexander's method to teach to Marco was a little different and he told him just go and read some books go and find ways because you have the power and you have to just show it up so he is the other side of this competition and Marco and Celia are going to fight to figure out who is the winner. Hector's side or Alexander's side? These competitions have been done for so long and these two guys had many uh, coached many people to just be in the competition so it's not something to say strange or something uh, they are just doing what they are doing and this is like a continuous competition and every single time one of these guys are going to be the winner so uh, this is next level of these competitions it's not rare they've done it before but these two guys are so 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 special and not like others okay we step to this point we don't want to go further about the story and I want to ask you to go and read the book because this is a fundamental and special experiment learning and just reading about magic but in real life it's like everyone does magic because they can do it's like a power like any other powers that humanity knows magic is another power that some people have it and some people don't know they have it <laughs> okay here the night circus uh, the book was published in 2011 and got 4 out of 5 marks uh, according to Goodreads. That's nice. Uh, personally, I really love how the book was happening in our world, in our normal world, but still it looks like it has its own world and everything is happening in its own rules, things that are not happening in our world. Uh, normally you may find this book a little boring at the very first chapters but trust me that is only the beginning and it's only because you still can't understand the rules you can't understand the uh, the uh, positions of this book maybe time changes is uh, bothering you but anyway it gets better as much as you read talking about time changes I myself thought that time changes was really uh, hard for me to figure it out because it was talking about uh, different characters in each uh, time changing and it was a little made me confused very 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 first steps but 
Uh, after I, I got that these two timelines are happening and being told in the story, uh, I, was t I was better and I could handle everything. So if you are just reading, don't forget to read the titles of each chapter. It shows which year and what hour and what uh, times. You know, you shouldn't miss it because if you just read the text, might be confused about what's going on, what are these people talking? And you have to be careful about that title of each chapter. Make sure you're reading the chapter, the first page of the chapter, uh, talking about the years that this chapter is happening, so you won't be messed up. And the ending, it was really shocking and uh, magical. And of course, it wasn't what you expected to hear, to listen, to uh, just read, or maybe you didn't just expect it to happen. Uh, but anyway, I loved it. I may like to see more happy ending story and ending, but this one was actually nice. It was just good. It was just um, something that is expected in this world, something magical. And I loved it. And I really, really loved it. You know, it made me emotional a little bit. But anyway, it was just fine. How I rate this book, I think we have to go for, uh, you know, after all these things I said, it's really hard to just rate it and give it a good number. But I would go with... How should I say it? Oh my god. Okay. I go with 4.5. 3 out of 5, and I don't know why 3, but uh, I think it needed to be marked and rated more than just 4. And um, as I said, I wasn't aware that there are going to be time changes. So, so I missed many early chapters, not knowing that these uh, chapters may differ in the year. And uh, it was a little clunky for me, but after that it was totally alright and I was understanding and checking every single year. It was fine after I figured it out, but at the first moment, as a reader who's just reading the text, I had these problems. A second reason may be the ending. If I was the author, uh, I would... and I expected whether a happy ending and a happy ending or a sad ending and this ending was something that I couldn't uh, say which side it is so maybe it wasn't expecting expected and I didn't expect to hear it and read it like that just end it like that maybe it's another reason but mm, it's just my personal opinion about the book Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you loved it and I hope you uh, see realistic opinions about this book. I think that it made my summer so romantic and so beautiful and I really recommend it to you. Just go and check it, go and read it. That is super nice and super beautiful to just read such a book, to read these magical stories when it's totally normal and happening in a normal world like unlike harry potter who had its own which had its own world the hogwarts and other harry potter worlds this was totally happening like us like imagine that my brother is a magician i don't even have a brother <laughs> i hope you follow this bookish weeks with us and other videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's the second time I'm saying, but I still can see some people are not subscribed. So, uh, that's it. Take care and goodbye.